Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do an introduction for a new project pan and I'm super excited about this one. This is a giant one. It's a big mama jamma. This is the 50 shades of purple and it is a fantastic ladies collab project. So if you are in the group or you may have uh, follow other people who are, are in the group, there was a 50 shades of pink that was being done last year. And I did do that project on Instagram last year. So I was super excited when the shade purple was picked for this year because I love the color purple. Love it. So 50 products is a lot of products. Hmm. Hey guys, this is editing Jaylon. I totally forgot to include the details of this project. I don't know what was wrong with me when I was filming, but I totally forgot to do that. So the details are we pick 50 products that include some form of purple. So the, it could be purple packaging. It could be a purple shade. It could have the name purple in the name of the product or the name of the color. So just some kind of purple in the product. The project lasts from April 15th, which is today, through April 15th of 2022. So it is a full year project and there are monthly updates. I think that is the gist of the project. So I'll take it back to the video. This project was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. And I will link all of the information for this project below, including the list of collaborators. I do wanna see how many people are doing this project. There are about 60 people who are collaborating on this project. So a large number of folks. I just realized like I'm all kinds of like purpled out today. I did not plan that at all. I promise, really, I did not plan that. I have a lot of stuff here, so let me get started. I have broken it down into like categories, so I'm gonna start with skincare. So the first thing I have are some sheet masks, and this is counting as one item, but I have five sheet masks. This is the Soon Micro Hole Hydrogel Hydrating Mask, and like I said, I have five of these, whoops, but they're counting as one, so, because I have lots of items, so I'm just gonna count these as one. Ziggy had a play fest. And I have one other mask. It is the Ole Henriksen Firm Action Pore Refining Mask Removes Impurities with Fine Clay and Herbs. And this is what this one looks like. So I do want to finish this. This is 50 grams. I have a couple of cleansers. So the first thing I have is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. It's just a 30 ml bottle. I also have the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This is also just a 30 ml bottle. And then the large cleanser that I have is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. This is a large bottle. It's a 200 ml bottle. So I do want to try to finish this over the course of the year. We'll see how that happens. I do have one tiny, tiny little bottle of an eye makeup remover. This is from MAC and it is just their pro eye makeup remover. It is this teeny tiny little sample. I wanna get through that. I have some uh, moisturizers. So the first one is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I also have the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. And the Tarte, I think this is a moisturizing cream or like a face moisturizer. We'll see, I have to do some research. Drink of H2O, it says it's a hydrating boost. So I'm not sure if that is a moisturizer or if it's something else. So I'm assuming it's a moisturizer. And the last item in the skincare category totally is the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. And this will probably be a daytime moisturizer in the summer. So I'll probably start using it this summer. Okay, so that is all the skincare. I do have several body care items. The first, oh, let me go through the scrubs first. So the first thing I have is the Scentsy Winterberry Apple Tea Sugar Scrub. So I do have one of these, is it, one of these is, oh my gosh. I do have one of these in another project. Wow, I cannot get that out. So I'm adding a second one because I know that I can finish this and I love the way it smells and I know I can get through two of these in the winter 
like fall winter time. So we're going to go ahead and add another one in. And then I also have a sugar scrub from Tree Hut. This is the Shea Sugar Scrub in Lychee and Plum. So I think I can sniff this. It's open, right? Amazing. Yeah, I can start using that soon. Okay, and then I have one little hand cream. It is from Bath and Body Works. Uh, scent is Cactus Blossom. So yay, pretty. I kind of decided last minute to roll these in because I was like, what the heck is wrong with me? I don't have any like shower gels or body lotions in here. Like, what's wrong with me? Like I never do that. I always have, in long-term projects, I always have shower gels and body lotions. I actually have duos. So I have shower gel and body lotions that are the same scent. So the first, they're both from Bath and Body Works. The first one is in the scent Black Amethyst. So I have the shower gel and the Ultra Shea body cream in the Black Amethyst scent. The scent notes on this are peony petals, sweet sandalwood, patchouli, creamy amber. It smells amazing. I think this was a discontinued scent that they brought back last... I think it was last SAS, so I picked up several. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then I have the same thing in Almond Blossom. And the scent notes for this are sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. Yum. That is all the skincare and body care items in this project. So I do have several, obviously the rest of this is makeup. <laughs> So I'm going to try to do this in order of like how I would put it on my face. So I'm going to start with primer and I have three of these same primer. So I have three from Becca. It is the first light priming filter. So I have one that is a 15 mil bottle and then I have two that are the 6 ml bottles. So I do have like regular like large bottles of this as well. So I want to work through these like minis out of my collection. And then I I am working on the full size of this. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas, like the cream version. This is the little mini, but I noticed that this is like, I think this was kind of open a little bit. So I think it had kind of started to dry out. Whoops. <laughs> so I need to go ahead and start using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it into this project and use it at some point very, very soon. Cause I, I Think it needs to get used. I have a couple of other primers. I have the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. So I have this little baby sample of the Liquid Silk Canvas. And then I have the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion something. This guy. So those minis. And then for foundations, I have two samples and then one full size that I'm close to being finished on. So I have the Tarte Face Tape in the shade Light Beige. So this is a little mini. I have the Tarte Tarte Guard Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Medium. So this is obviously something I would use after I have a tan. And then I also have another product from Tarte, Tarte Heavy, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. And this is in the shade Light Neutral. And I actually have panned this already, so there is this is not full. So it's about a third. There's about maybe a third left in this bottle. So my goal is to finish this. My goal is to finish everything unless I say otherwise. And then I also have a concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. So there is generally a ton of product in here, but as you can see, I am very close to finishing this. So my goal is really just to get this done. Get it done. So I know once you take out the stopper out of these, there's like a ton of product left in here. So I don't know that it's still gonna take me a while to finish, but I do want to work this out. Okay, so now let's do some um, eye products. So I do have two eyeliners. I have the ColourPop Creme Gel Eyeliner in No Shade. So it is actually a pretty dark purple. It almost goes on black. 
And that's basically how I would use this. I would use this as a black, almost like a black eyeliner. And I will mark this in my book, but it is pretty much a full product and it is broken. So I will mark that. Now this one, I think this is also broken. Okay, so this is also a ColourPop liner and I think this is in the shade Piggy Bank. So you don't need to see the component because you know what it looks like. So this is what the shade looks like. It's a beautiful color. I just have a really hard time wearing this type of color eyeliner. So I, I'm not gonna finish this. No way in heck will I finish this. So I'm just gonna set a usage goal on this. I really just wanna use it 20 times. 20 times will make me happy on that liner. All right, now some eyeshadows. So I do have four, five eyeshadows in this project and they're all purple. Ah, okay, so the first one is from Sugar Pill and this is in the shade Poison Plum. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is a, so it's a matte shadow and it is just stunning. Oh my gosh. So my goal is really just to, for this, because I mean, I can't wear this year round. I really just want to use it. I want to, and maybe I'll set a usage goal. So maybe I'll set a usage goal of use it 50 times. I think over the course of a year, I can use it 50 times. So I'll do that. I'll just want to use this 5-0 times. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think I can use it 50 times. Is 50 times too crazy? I don't think so. Is it? It's a month and a half of purple looks. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe 50 times is too much. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think of like, that would be like 50 purple looks. So let me do 30. I'll do 30. Let me do 30. You can tell I really thought this out. Let's do 30 uses on the shadows. Okay. So the next one is by Makeup Geek. This is the shade Curfew. So that is what this one looks like. This is also gorgeous. Mm -hmm. All right. What is going on with y'all? There's a lot of activity happening. So it kind of looks a little, I'm a little worried because it looks a little patchy. So hopefully it's not patchy on my eye. We'll see. I've always had very, very good luck with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So let's hope it does not go patchy on my eyeball. The next shadow is by MAC and it is in the shade Vib Vibrant Grape. And again, I'm going to set my goal on the same on all of these is to use them 30 times each. And this shade is a little bit challenging. I feel, I find that some of my older MAC shadows don't swatch as well. Yeah, that sucked. I feel like I'm going to go in with a brush. So that is what Vibrant Grape looks like. Ah, purple. Okay, now to some shimmers. This is by Luxie Beauty and it is the shade Ultraviolet. Oh my God. He's going to lick that light for a little while. Let me swatch this beautiful shade for y'all. Oh my goodness. Holy mother of everything that is. Holy. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, that one's so pretty. 
Okay, and then the last shade is by MAC, and it is in the shade Smoky Mauve. And this was a holiday collection eyeshadow, and I think it was, I can't remember, it was in a, like a plastic pan, and I lifted it off that pan and, and put it into this, uh, anyway. So this is what this one looks like. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. This is beautiful. And I've been wanting to use this shadow for so long. And I just never have used it. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Mmm. Those are my five purple eyeshadows that I brought in. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Purple, purple, purple. <laughs> These are now getting moved over into the shadows that I'm using so excited so actually i'll show you guys my little my new quad this is the uh these are the four new shadows in my magnetic palette well here let's do this so these are the new shadows that are going in there we go <laughs> all purple all purple. So happy. Woo! Mascaras. So I have four little mini mascaras. They, I have two of the Urban Decay Perversion, like deluxe size of the Perversion mascaras. So I go through mascaras like crazy. I don't think I'll have any problem using these up. I have one of the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. And then I have two of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascaras. And they're all both deluxe sizes as well. So want to use all of those. So now before I go into my lip products, which I think is the last category, I have one facial spray. And this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I have had this in a project, as you can tell, and that is my current line. So I have not used this since <laughs> I had it in the project. And I don't know why I can't seem to finish this. And I need to use it up because it's an older product. So I need to use that. Okay, now let's get into the lip products. Okay, I have two, well, three, three like balm products. So the first one is by the company Inuit and it is this cute little bunny. And I think this is a, I don't remember what scent this is in. Marshmallow, something like that. I mean, these are not the best uh, moisturized. They're, they're not moisturizing. They're not that great. But I, I know, so I wanna work this out. Just want to use it, get it out of my collection. I also have this. I've had this for a very long, well, I, I think a very long time, yes. This is a By Terry Balm de Rose, but it's in their Mauve Moon shade. So it is this shade here. I've never touched it. So, I mean, I would use this as a, like well, how I would use their regular Balm de Rose product, which is like a lip moisturizer. So I need to work this out. I remember this went on clearance, I think at Barney's and I was like snatch because you know, this is like a $60 product and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I know it was not $60 and it still smells like a rose. I want to use it. I want to get it out. My goal is to finish it. I want to finish it. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I can finish it. Okay, and the next ba like balm type product I have is by Tarte. It's the Energy Noir Lip Surgeons. And this has three grams, so it's quite a bit of product. And I think I've just swatched this. Mm, that has an interesting shape. Uh, okay, let me, so it's a very sheer product. So that would be great as like a, just goes in my purse and I'm just going to moisturize my lips or it sits by my workstation and I just need something to hydrate my lips. So 
Perfect for that. I have four glosses. So, and these are all but one are deluxe size samples. I have one by Marc Jacobs, and this is in the shade, I think Boys Don't Cry, and it is this pretty dang deep purple. <laughs> Let me see what that swatch is like. Oh yeah, that's very pigmented. So we'll see how this ends up working out on my lips. <laughs> Oh my God. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Jane. Right here. And I don't, I know most of these. I think I, I swatched most of these. And this is pretty sheer. So that is what that one looks like. I mean, it's not as sheer as some of the other ones, but I do want to, that's a very dark gloss. I just want to work that one out. And then I have the MAC Lip Glass in the shade Love You, I think Big Time. And it's a, just a deluxe size sample. And this has just 2.4 grams. I think I used, yeah. So I used one of these in the 50 Shades of Pink last year. Candy can Candy Yum Yum, I think is the one that I used last year. And then I do have this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Raspberry Tart. Ooh, purple. <laughs> oh, that one's pretty. So it's right there. Hmm. We'll see. It'd be really interesting to see how these end up looking on the lips. And then I have three lip product, like three lipsticks. I have one from Urban Decay, and it's in this purple like packaging. This is the old revolution lipstick this is the shade sheer obsessed so i am very close to finishing this like oh i am almost done so obviously i want to finish it so it's just a just a pink pink lipstick so goal is to finish that one and the glosses everything else are i want to finish those i also have this little tart lipstick this is in the shade soaked i think that's soaked so it is this beautiful color here and I'm going to set my goal is to finish this because it's a mini. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And then my last product is a MAC lipstick in Up The Amp. So I did have this in my 365 Days of Lippies. And I felt like this was kind of starting to go off. It's a gorgeous color gorgeous so I want to use I'm gonna set my standard one-fourth usage goal on this and then hopefully if I notice that it's really needs to get used then I'll roll it into lip service as well but or I'll set it up in a project to finish but um, I just want to do a fourth because I've got so many other lip products going on in this project. I don't want to make it crazy. So, and it's not an, I don't think that's an easy color to pan. If it was like a nude, I would say let's finish it. And I, I have a lot of this left. So let's just make it easy on myself and use a quarter. Purple. <laughs> So that is my intro for Fifty Shades of Purple. I am so excited for this project. I have been waiting for this project to start for so long. I know my good friend Valerie and I have been like comparing our baskets for Fifty Shades of Purple and it's finally here. <laughs> I did end up changing out some things. Like I had a few other items in here, but once I realized that I didn't have any like body care, like shower gels or moisturizers. I was like, what is wrong with me? So I took some things out. Like I took this out. I took, I took a, a this crazy lipstick. <laughs> I took an eyeliner out. I took this out. I should probably have kept this in, but honestly, I don't really love that product. So I will put it in another project, but those are my products. I'm happy with my choices. I'm a little scared about finishing that Clinique cleanser. <laughs> I would love to hear if you are doing this project, what are your items? Are, were you as crazy as I am in terms of picking a ton of lipsticks or lip products? Because I feel like I was a little, that may not have been the best idea, but I am stoked. Very much excited. I love this project.
anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe. Hope you're doing well. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I have to take some products out. I have too many. Okay. This is the third video I'm filming in the same day, look, makeup, whatever. I'm trying to get it all done. So my apologies. This is going to take a while to film. Okay. Oh, yeah. I started wearing a retainer to fix my bottom teeth. And I'm just starting to notice that they're moving. Oh, my gosh. So the first thing I have are some sheet masks. And the <clears throat> this is the Shea Scrub. This is the Shea I see you. Your tongue is ridiculously long. Look at that. Why is he doing that? See? I mean... What are you doing, buddy? Why do you lick the light? I don't understand. Now he's interested in what Marley's doing. Thought you were done. It has no taste. I did not smear sardine oil on it. Oh my god, all the cats are in here. All of them. What are you doing? Huh? Come here. Come on. He's such a talker. Come here. Come here. What are you playing with, Marley? Did you pull out my little... Is that what you're playing with? Oh, that is what you're playing with. So, so I use these, um, oh, what do you call them? Wow, you're going to town. Oh, he's going to take it from you. You know those brush guards that you can put on your brushes? Anytime I wash my brushes and he sees me putting, br like this is Marley, and he sees me putting brushes out to dry, he's like, oh my God, you put the brushes out. And he sees the ones with the brush guards and he like starts to play with them. He's a little shit. And I'm like, no, don't play with my brushes. I just wash those. But he'll want to pull the brush guard off and then play with the brush guard. So then I'm like, play with the brush guard. I throw a brush guard. And then he's like, no, I want to pull the one off the brush. <sighs> anyway, what he's playing with now are these little like, I don't know if I have one. I think I have one in right here. Pipette, that's what the word is, pipette. So I have this huge bag of like pipettes that I use whenever I repress eyeshadows. So he found one sitting in my basket so it's these little plastic like disposable pipettes and marley found one sitting in my basket and he's like what's that he's like the strangest cat he finds the weirdest things enjoyable to play with so he decided to pull this out and he's now running around the house playing with it <laughs> i'm like you can have i mean i have a bag of how many are in here there's a hundred in here you can have more don't play with my brushes Yeah, there you go. Now you're ignoring it. No, there you go. It's another one. He just, he just stuck it in his mouth and ran off with it. Strange cat.